This is how I water my green stalks, filling each one up one at a time. But it can be easier because of a new accessory that green stock is offering. Join me today as I show you how I set up automatic watering for my green stock towers. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and don't get me wrong, I like hand watering my garden, and hand watering a green stock is not that hard. But my main garden is way over there. That means every day I have to drag a hose to put water into these green stocks. And in my hot environment, with any container gardening, I usually have to do it at least twice a day during the peak of summer. The idea of being able to have a timer and water the green stalks automatically is pretty appealing. The green stock automatic watering system comes with all the tubing that you'll need, all of the valves and all of the supports for the tubing, and of course, a setup guide. And I'll be showing you today how to set up a system like this. The automatic watering system works with a seven tier leaf system or a five-tier original system or the inventors bundle which is a six-tier blend of the original tiers and the leaf tiers. And with the watering system I also got lids, a color match of course to each of my towers. This will help keep debris out of the reservoir and adds a nice little decorative component. Looking through the setup guide, you'll be able to see that this is going to be pretty easy. Each of these tubes is pre-cut to the heights of the towers that I just mentioned. And all we need to do is just get into our bag for the clips and the valves and the T's and we'll be ready to go. The first thing I'm going to do is to set up the clips that hold the tubing. And we're alternating from one tier to the next, trying to get a vertical line for the tubing. It's very easy. They clip on, and this task is done. Next, I'll take one of the pre-cut tubes, slide it onto the valve, and then I'll tighten it so that it's secure. Then I'll take a nozzle and I'll screw it onto the valve. And then I'll go to the other side and put an elbow on the other end of the tube and again tighten it down to hold it in place. Next I just put the spout and the valve on top and then just clip the tubing all the way down and I can adjust these clips to get my vertical spacing. And you'll see with any of the standard size models there's no cutting involved. The tube is exactly the right size. You'll find two different types of elbow in the kit. If you only have one green stock, you put the elbow that has an attachment to screw on to your garden hose, and then you're done. But because I'm lining up multiple towers, I use the elbow that will attach to another piece of tubing. And you'll get extra tubing because the next thing I need to do is cut this tubing to match the distance between these two towers. The kit also comes with a T, specifically for the ability to connect multiple green stock units. I went ahead and connected the vertical pipe so that I could get the spacing right. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut this tubing to match. These are just kitchen shears, the kind you use to cut chicken bones and things like that. And now I'll attach the T. 
If you only have two units, what you can do now is use this extra tubing and attach the hose connector to it. But I've got three units, so I'm going to go ahead and use this tubing to connect to the third one as well. So I've put an automatic watering system on each of my towers now. I have an elbow on the end. I have a T to the first one, a T to the second one, and now I'll go ahead and attach the hose attachment to the end of the tubing. It's no different than all the other tubing. We'll just slide it into position until it won't go anymore. I'm going to go ahead and bend it off to the side because the hose will be coming level to it. And then I tighten it. And it's ready for a hose and a pressure check. To do the pressure test, I connected the hose, I turned off all of the valves, and now I'm looking for leaks. And this is incredible. There aren't any leaks. There's not a drop dripping from any of these connections. That's pretty incredible. I don't know if that's ever happened in any of my plumbing jobs before. And so now we'll go ahead and test each of these valves and start working to get an even flow. The pressure will be different from one end of the system to the other. So starting at the end closest to the hose, I'm going to open the valve and only partially open it. And then I'm going to move up the line, opening the valves. And I can expect that the pressure is going to be least at the end. So this will probably need to be full open. It's a lot of pressure coming out even with that. So now I'll come back and adjust these by opening and closing and trying to get a match. This way, if the flow is even across all three, when I turn the water on, I can expect that they're all getting the same amount of water to fill the reservoir. And it looks like I have them pretty well matched. The flow looks very similar in all three. There's another fill test that I'll do. Everything is draining right now. I'll come back this afternoon or tomorrow morning, turn the water on, and then check all three reservoirs to see that they're filling at the same rate so that they're all full at the same time. And I'll measure that time to see how long it takes. Because from this point forward, for it to be an automatic watering system, I have a couple options. I could just turn the valve every day and get the water started, or I could go to a timer. That's what I'm going to do. Greenstock actually sells this timer on their website. This is a Bluetooth timer. So I'll go ahead and hook this up to my faucet, connect my hose to it, and then from my phone, I can control how much water and the timing of the watering that these towers are going to get. This timer will make it truly automatic. And it's important to point out that you should modify how much you're watering over the course of the growing season. Early in the season, when you have seeds in your green stock, you might want to water two or three times a day to keep it evenly moist so that those seeds can germinate. As the plants are growing, you might be able to cut back to once a day, but when they're flowering and fruiting, you may need to go back to two times a day. The amounts will probably not vary by much, but the number of waterings will. That's why it's going to be pretty nice and easy to just pull out my phone and adjust the watering as I need to. There's another consideration to be aware of as well. 
One of the nice things about the green stock is that you can easily spin the tower so that all of the plants can get equal sun, especially when they're on a spinner base like that one. But when these are clipped in, you won't be able to spin the tower. So you'll need to unclip the tubes, spin the tower if you're trying to get even sun, and then clip everything back in place. Since I'm only spinning my tower once a week, maybe once every other week, depending on the plants that I'm growing and the time of the season, there won't be a lot of effort. Or you can just leave everything in place and grow shade-loving plants on the backside that won't get as much sun. If you want to see what else I do with my green stock, go ahead and watch this video next. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.